Yes, guys. So let's talk Pickled Steel. Today I am doing a review on the company called Pickled Steel. And, you know, I'm doing this review just because I believe and I truly believe that this company deserves all the publicity it can get. That is why I've started doing these reviews. That is why I'm reviewing these knives. It's not because anyone asked me. I just informed the owner that I'm doing this. Um, that's it. Okay. There's no payment. There's no nothing. There's no other connection than just me feeling that they deserve to, to get more representation on the platform of YouTube. Okay. On Facebook, they have a lot of representation, but on YouTube, um, they can have more. So that's all I'm doing this uh, for. And, uh, you know, I love this company. I really do. I really do. And the reason why I love this company is because when I was a young boy, the old people would, would tell me, you know, in my days, people had pride in their work. We used to know the owners of companies. We used to know what they stand for. We used to know what their vision is for their company, how they feel about the products that they are selling, you know. They had, they had true pride in their work and you could see it. You could see their passion. They followed their passions and you could see their passion shine through in their work. In those days, it wasn't just that people were focused on being the best company. They were focused on being the best company for the society, for the community. That is what, what gained them that higher level. That is what um, helped them to make a name for themselves. And that's not why they did it. They did it because it came from a position of passion. They wanted to be the best because they loved what they do. Today, are we seeing that in, in the companies around us? Is that what we see? Because I really don't see it, right? What I'm seeing is people <laughs> and companies going, doing the bare minimum and then trying to get the most gain from, from that little effort. And that is why this company has stood out to me. That is why Pickled Steel has stood out to me, because when I saw this company and when I made contact with the owner the first time, I realized, you know, this is, this company is different. The vision is different here. The mission, what they're setting out to do and accomplish is different here. This knife company is not focused on becoming the best knife company out there. They are focused on becoming the best knife company for the customer for the buyer, for me and you, for the knife community. And you don't have to take my word for it. Maybe you feel like, ah, oh, but you're biased because you just like the knives, whatever. Don't take my word for it, okay? Go to, go to www.pickledsteel.co.za. Then you'll read there, you'll read this little section which says, high quality knives at affordable prices. Okay. Then scroll through the lineup check out the prices, check out the materials that they're using, what they're asking for knives in those range. Then go on to, to your Kershaw, your CRKT websites, your Honey Badger websites, your Kaiser websites, and then do the same thing. Go read there about the company statement. It's going to tell you, what, what's it going to tell you? It's going to tell you high quality knives at affordable prices. Then what I want you to do is I want you to take a look at a knife in D2 from those companies with G10 scales with a black DLC coating and go check out what you're paying there for this knife it's going to be I think around 700 Rand for a knife on any of those sites you are almost definitely paying double what you would pay for this knife how can they justify that and have a statement which says affordable knives high quality affordable knives guys if you own a knife in the pickled steel lineup and you also own a crkt and you also own a kershaw and you also own a kaiser then you know that the quality if the pickled steel is not better it is at least at least on par with all of those companies at least these are beautiful they are magnificent high quality knives at truly affordable prices you know, let's, for example, just use Honey Badger because we all love Honey Badger and we all know Honey Badger. D2 DLC coated G10 Honey Badger. It's going to cost you 1,600 Rand. Between 1,400 to 1,600. That's probably what it's going to cost you with G10 scales, right? 700 Rand. There you go. 
high quality affordable okay so guys what i'm trying to tell you is <laughs> these knife companies you know they don't care about you they don't care about the the best knife for you right pickled steel cares about you they care about the customer because when aldi started this business he actually first sold um, base tech in the company he was the only guy selling base tech or the first guy selling base tech in the company uh, in the country sorry and then he was the second guy selling kaisers in the country and things just grew from there he has a true passion for knives and and producing and selling high quality knives without ripping people off his goal is not making money his goal is to put high quality knives out there um, into the hands of of people who, who can't necessarily afford these materials from other companies okay that is that is kind of what he set out to do he has a passion for knives and he's living out that passion yeah this is a hobby for him he has a full-time job at another company even though he's the owner of this very successful already very successful knife company he's, he doesn't need this company to provide for his family or to provide in his needs or whatever he's using this company to just live out his passion and i, li I like to support the guy who's, who's living out their passion because i know that they're taking pride in what they're producing if you have a passion then you have a love and you cannot love something that is that doesn't fit your standard okay and if you have a passion for knives then you probably have quite a good standard for what a knife must be like right and you don't want to you don't want to put something out there that you won't want yourself if if this comes from passion so which it does right so basically what Aldo just told me is hey he became hotful for the repos right from these big name brands that's wrapping us off he's hotful for that and he decided hey let me show you what what you can buy for that money that you're spending on Kershaw or whatever. I'm just using examples here. I'm not saying that those companies are like the devil. I'm just saying that they are ripping us off. Okay. <laughs> if you look at the material, you look at the prices, they are definitely ripping us off. So the aim is not money for him. The aim is living out his passion. Right. And he is currently the largest private seller and um, like personal private seller, man, man alone seller in the country. Um, he has sold over 32,000 knives and since 2017 and he's only had four returns because why because he has a passion and a love he is meticulous he wants to put the best out there because he cares about the buyer how do you explain that how do you explain only four returns uh, this is how I explain it he's not interested in pushing product He's not giving subpar knives to people and just hoping that they're not coming back or returning with it. He tests every knife beforehand, before he sends it out to see, he checks it. Is it fine? Is it okay? Are there scuff marks? Are there stuff wrong with this knife? And then once it has gone through his standards, then you will send it out. That, that, is, <laughs> that is like the definition of of um, <laughs> how to produce high quality knives okay so uh, he is a very uh, detailed person and that is just what he set, set out to do and that is what I wanted to prove in this video I just wanted to explain to you guys what you're getting when you support this this company you're getting ultimate value for money right and you supporting a company that is that is also supporting you because that is his vision his vision is to support the buyer, to support the knife enthusiast. He's doing this not for himself, he's doing this for the knife community. So let's support Pickled Steel guys, buy a knife and it is fantastic. You will only be doing yourself a favor, that's it. <laughs> awesome, I hope you guys have a good day. Please look out for the review on the Divine and the, also the Toko, they will be coming next. I am currently carrying this Toko on Tuesdays. I'm calling it Toko Tuesday. So tomorrow, this guy will be on my belt in one of these beautiful leather sheaves. Awesome. Have a great evening.